Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. Sign up now for a $20 free bet. Just use the code IFLTV24. Sign up now. Terms and conditions apply. Andrew McCart, IFL TV. I'm here in Glasgow, delighted to be joined by the big man himself, Martin Bacoli. Martin, I haven't spoke to you. Oh, have I spoke to you since the Cars Tackham fight? Yeah, I think yeah. I have, yeah, so yeah. let's forget about that. Let's talk about the future. Uh, first and foremost, how are you? I'm okay. So happy and so happy to see you always in our coming to our gym for an interview. So happy to see you again. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you, man. <laughs> Happy New Year to you. Now, let's just talk about, right now, your situation. Um, you've been bumped up to number one in the WBA. Um, you must be excited about that because, obviously, I think Wilder was ahead of you at number one, obviously, yeah. with his loss to Joseph Parker. That puts you in prime position. Of course, you know, because Wilder said he avoided me and uh, he said not to fight me. You know, he picked up uh, Joseph Parker and he loses the you know, first place and, uh, and I was second one, so... I'm not surprised to be number one and I'm ready for now for everyone. I don't want to touch on the Saudi card because there's a lot of headweights on it and you yeah. are a headweight, but I want to touch on this Deontay Wilder situation. Now, you were offered the fight, I believe, and he turned, didn't turn you down, he chose Parker instead. Yeah. But I'll ask you the question, man. What, what, you saw the Parker fight, right? Mm-hmm. So what would have happened if you fought Deontay yeah, Wilder? I knock him out the best around. I was going to knock him out cold because he's small like that and... No, everyone knows uh, the one time was aggressive, but we saw him that night like uh, you know, flying and playing in the ring. You know, we can't engage the fight. No, I know to be honest, I was going to stop him. You know, Paka and you know, give him time to survive. But I was not going to, uh, going to give him time to survive. I was going to knock him out. To be honest. You, you had, like I said to you, last time out in Saudi Arabia, the, the, the Fury and Ganu fight, you had a great win against Talis Takam. Um, you put your, your, you're in prime possession with the WBA. Now, me as a guy on this side of the camera with a microphone, I, I want to ask the questions. You're in prime position, you had a good win. When can we see you out next against some of these big guns? Oh, very soon. You know, Joshua, you know, it's an out. And as I said, he's coming after me, so I was, you know, looking forward to fight him because <laughs> I was not going to behave like the ones I was that would turn up, you know, to, to number two, but involved in, in Saudi Arabia, so uh, I'm looking forward to maybe fight for the regular belt, so I'm waiting for the WBA to confirm the date, and uh, who am I going to fight next? Uh, but to be honest, uh, I'm looking forward to it, and uh, I don't, I can't wait anymore. This is my time, and this is my year. Manuel Charles, I believe, is a WBA regular, yeah. I think he is. Um, is that something you're chasing? Is that something we're going to talk about? Is that something who you want, obviously, to settle that WBA situation? I want everyone. So, from Joshua, uh, Dubois, but Dubois is the number three. I want Joshua for, you know, a mandate, uh, number one, maybe position mandatory. And all going for Manuel Charles because I'm a number one, so mm-hmm. we put letter on it, and uh, my lawyer, so we can attack uh, uh, a Manuel Char. I think that would maybe happen this year uh, with a boxer and my team. I'm looking forward to it. So I like, man, I've been done loads of interviews together. Probably, I would say hundreds, but maybe not quite hundreds, but um, you've always done the chasing. You've always chased the big guys. You win this WB interim or WB regular title, whichever one it may be. There's so many WB titles. Whichever one it may be, you don't need to do any chasing anymore. Are you hoping to win this title and hopefully some of these guys ask you out, offer you out for a fight? 100% I'm looking forward and working hard. I'm back in the gym. So I'm looking forward to win first for this belt because I've been working hard to be in this position. And thank God today I'm number one. Number one. So uh, I told my team, so I don't have time to waste. Mm-hmm. So I need to get this belt. So now the door will be open for everyone now who was running away because soon you're a champion, everyone will want you. So I'll smash them and take all the belt. <laughs> well, let's, talk, let's, 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 let's go back to Saudi Arabia there, yes. the day of reckoning. Um, I just want to get your thoughts on the Anthony Joshua or Wildland fight. Now, everybody was saying it was a tricky fight for, yeah. for Anthony Joshua, but it made it look easy in there. Were you surprised? Uh, I was twice, yeah, and so sad at the same time because I should be that on the card because everyone turned, the, you know, turned me down from Dubois and Jamal Mula, everyone from uh, the ones I wanted the park. And I was so sad so because uh, uh, His Excellency uh, uh, Tirk, he promised me everyone who win the fight, you know, in uh, Nganu. Uh, Gypsy King shop is going to be on a, a December team uh, shop. Yes, no, the owner is award and they say I will be on, but uh, I was surprised that everyone said not to fight me, and I was so sad. Mm-hmm. That's the sad part, but I was surprised. Me, uh, I was thinking maybe uh, Joshua will get stopped again because the guy was expo and he gave Tyson Fury a hard time. 
and I was surprised uh, by the Joshua performance. I can see that it's building up and now mm. his mentality and everything. Uh, that is good, but you know, I'm looking forward to to work his heart again. <laughs> <laughs> he was a hundred pounds heavier than him. Um, I just want to get your thoughts on that fight. It was a good fight for Daniel Dubois. He was a small yeah. man, way smaller than, than Jarrell Miller, but again, another upset. The, the heavyweight landscape seems to, every time there's a Saudi Arabia fight with these heavyweights, the landscape keeps changing. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. Daniel Dubois done a good job. Yeah, yeah, he done a good job. Well done to him, but Kamal Mula has stopped him in round two, three. <laughs> in the gym. <laughs> in the gym, did you? Yeah, say, as coach will tell you, he say himself, I'm too good, too much him. Because I was got speed, everything. Uh, Dubois should stop him maybe in round three, four. But, you know, well done, he done it in round mm. ten. Kamal Mula, since, you know, he get banned for, for the dog mm -hmm. test, so he lose everything. If you see, he's big, he can't even make weight himself. But he was a good boxer, but now, you know, he, he rolled his career. He's in prison right now, so, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, uh, so I'm praying for him. He must come back again. He's a good boxer, but he needs to be focused on boxing. Mm -hmm. I met his sister in a mock -up, and she told me, she begged me if I can talk to his brother to behave good because, you know, he's a troubled man and mm. a woman and he's not focused, 100% on focus. This is secret and I'm sorry to, to release it in public, but her sister, she came to visit him and I more come and she asked me if I can talk to him. I did you know, talk to him and say, yeah, I will try to change. He, he will try to change. Yeah. So he was in camp, but, you know, mm. sleeping with the lady up there. So. Mm. Uh, you have to be focused. If you watch this video, maybe uh, when you get out and it's uh, prison, you have to be focused 100% and focused in focus boxing. If you choose boxing like this is his job, you have to be focused. Mm -hmm. That's Definitely. the advice, yeah. It's a dangerous sport. You, yeah, you need to be yeah. focused. Man, now, Anthony Joshua is fighting Francis Ngannou. Um, Anthony Joshua and Ngannou, there's a little bit more video on Ngannou now. Yeah. You can watch Ngannou box because he's fought Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury went in there with no tape. He didn't know how Francis Ngannou would fight. So Anthony Joshua has got a little bit now to watch and study. Um, that being said, what happens in that fight? Uh, you know, to be honest, I was in the Tyson Fury's camp. Uh, if, you, if you watch my interview against Tyson Fury and Ngannou, when people asking me, I was saying I'm not, I, will, I will not be surprised to see Ngannou drop uh, down Tyson Fury because mm -hmm. Tyson, to be honest, is watching this video. He was not 100% focused in the gym. Mm -hmm. For me, my opinion, I think uh, because of the contract he signed for a music fight, you know, affect his man before the Ngannou fight because uh, I never seen Tyson training like that. He was doing four hundred, six hundred in the gym for sparring. So, you know, shouting himself says he's going to stop him and looking forward to for the big fight. So, for my opinion, maybe he's watching this video. He knows that no, he was not hundred percent focused. That's not Tyson fear. I knew it uh, when he was preparing for you know Krishko, Chizora, and uh, Dylan White. So this was a you know different. You know, it, it, it took time. And Ngannou is it? No, he mm. took it. So I think maybe we'll stop him in round four, five. Oh, Ngannou take it serious. He say, if I stop Tyson Fury, I make my name there. Mm. And already, what he did already in the MMA. But to be honest, Joshua is going to be different because Joshua saw so Ngannou. He was coming to box, so he will take it serious. And uh, Ngannou as well is coming. You know, I want to make him a name in the boxing. Uh, everyone is surprised after Tyson Fury say yes to fight Joshua. So he's a good man. He's got heart. Mm. So he's got everything up there. So, but if he, uh, if it Antoine Joshua take it serious, I think he'll stop him because this time he take it seriously and work hard on it. Man, obviously Francis Ngannou, an African from Cameroon. You're from Congo. I can't remember the last time there's been a big heavyweight yeah. super fight in Africa. Yeah. You've wanted a fight. Francis Ngannou, Joshua, I, I, before your career is over, you want to be a world champion. Yeah. But do you want a big fight in Africa? I'm always looking for that because you know, we all coming from Africa, motherland. So, motherland, so Joshua is from uh, Nigeria and uh, Ngannou is from Cameroon. I'm from Congo, so always about the continent. So, we're too strong and why not having a big fight? But I'm planning on that. That is the reason why I always call my government all the time if we can get organize this big fight like a Mohamed Ali for a month and you know, rumble in the jungle in the Congo. So I want maybe before my old title to be in Congo. Mm. So I want to do the same, you know, what uh, Ali and Foreman did in my Congo. This time it should be uh, 
uh, Martin Bacole, Congolese fighting in Congo. There's rumours, right, of Wilder versus Zhang on the Joshua undercard. Now, I want to get your thoughts on that, right? So, Wilder versus Zhang. Zhang. Wilder. Wilder. Wilder, I'll just give him my advice to stay, maybe focus on training now. And uh, maybe, you know, train properly and you know, take turns seriously. Maybe change the system because I don't see that as a good coach for him. Mm-hmm. Look how his leg, he lose more weight. Mm-hmm. More weight. I don't think he, uh, it's too early to take that fight. So mm-hmm. you need to be focused on it. You can you know what the fight against uh, uh, Parker, you will see that he has a lot to, you know, to change and uh, train hard for him to become again world that, that everyone wants to see. Because Big Zhang is a, a explosive mm. this time. So if you take again that risk, you know, laws again against Big Zhang, so I think he will be finished. But I don't want him to do like that because I'm still waiting. I want him to lose against me because I'll give him no cup like Tyson figured did. <laughs> I don't want him to lose now. But advice. Do you, want, you, know, do you still want to fight Wilder? Of course, yeah. But why not? Uh, but now I don't know if he's number four or five in the ranking. But I'm looking for. I want to be a world champion, to be honest. So I'm focused and working hard. My dream is to become a world champion. Because everyone is avoiding me now, you know, keep to, you know, give him some reason. Keep talking shit, some people know. But this time soon I'm a world champion. Everyone wants to fight me. And that is the, what I want. So I love to fight. I want to be in the ring with the best. So why not? But good luck to him if he say yes to fight Zanga. I know there's a big money involved, but it's too risky for his career. Would you want to be on the undercard, Joshua Ngannou? Do you think that's a possibility? Yeah, for the no, WBA regular, I would be 100% out of it. Last one, Martin, because it's uh, a few weeks away. Tyson Fury, Usyk, the undisputed. Oh. Now, we're going to get the finally get an undisputed yeah. fight, but you're probably like, thinking, everyone wins that fight, <laughs> get rid of the WBA. Yeah. I want to thank you. Yeah. But yeah, that fight itself in... in uh, Tyson Fury and Usyk. You probably said this to me a number of times, but I want to reiterate the question and get your answer again. Yeah. Who wins? Oh, this is a hard question. Mm. Uh, very hard That's question. my job. <laughs> <laughs> 50-50. <laughs> but um, on the point, I can see Usyk and uh, knockout maybe surprised by Joe uh, Gypsy King because he has to fix his mistake, you know, mm. people judge him wrong, I guess, and I know, and this time he has to work hard. Uh, imagine if he stop music, so, if, you know, everyone will know, you'll see that the uh, fight was a little bit mistaken, mm. he didn't take it serious, but it's so hard because music, I know music is a old class, uh, nice movement, but, you know, Gypsy King is gone. Uh, I'll go draw for me. Draw? Yeah, I don't want to draw. Thank you so much. Always <laughs> oh, good to see you, thank you, man. I'll catch you very, very soon. So thank you, man. Thank you. Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. Sign up now for a $20 free bet. Just use the code IFLTV24. Sign up now. Terms and conditions apply.